As all the leagues are making their plans for the year, we look back at the events for the past month. This is the eSports recap for January of 2014. Apex 2014 is the biggest tournament in the world for Super Smash Bros. Some shenanigans from Nintendo were expected, but fortunately there were none to be had. Just some amazing Smash action, as well as a few other fighters in the mix. The event happened in New Jersey. One game to note is Project M. It's a mod for Super Smash Bros. Brawl, designed to make the gameplay more in line with that of Melee. I like to think of Project M as a pro mod for Brawl. Mewtwo King definitely is scheming to see if he can get a knockdown off of that fair and an opportunity to get a combo. Oh, look at the patience, not even wave dashing, just walking. And it, nice. are you a fan of the Who? Because I, I think PB is feeling a pinball wizard right now. Oof. <laughs> Beautiful counter, looking like Ken versus those. Oh my. And that is vintage Mewtwo King. Why two hits? You can smash the eye the first hit upwards of a standing area. And doing another illusion. You do two hits to prevent that from happening. Amazing pressure right here. By the, third the Red Bull the Esports Champion League, League was held in Beijing, where they had StarCraft 2, Dota 2, CSGO, and even Hearthstone. As of the making of this video, the results for Hearthstone are missing from the site. MMY, he managed to steal the Viper Strike, turned it around once, but it's just going to eat the Dragon Tail. The Doom goes out into YYF, burning being focused, impetus damage way too much. Next Viper Strike from Hao, DK. Falling apart. There is going to be a huge meteor combo dropped by Ice Ice Ice. How many kills can he get out of this? They do manage to bring down the Dragonite. Bananas. Land Track 2014 is a LAN party in Tampere, Finland. All sorts of tournaments were played over the weekend. Professional and amateur tournaments for StarCraft 2 and CSGO. There was also Dota 2, League of Legends, even some older console games like Halo 3 and Call of Duty 4. Suffice to say, it's cold in Finland. Might as well stay inside and play video games. Season 8 of the Star Ladder Star Series comes to an end with Dota 2, with Na'Vi taking the Grand Finals against the Alliance 3-1. The CSGO finals happened much earlier, with the Poles winning against Na'Vi 3-1. Both offline finals happened in Ukraine. The 2013 season of G League comes to an end in Shanghai, with tournaments for StarCraft 2, II, Dota 2, II, and League of Legends. In other League of Legends events, over in Asia, we saw the conclusion of the winter seasons of the Garena Premier League, Nova League, Thailand Pro League, and the Nice Game TV League. The Damasia Cup occurred right off the bat, followed by the Scan Invitational a couple weeks later for the Europeans. Back home in North America, the 2014 LCS season is underway. The spring season is already a few weeks in. Will be taken down. I think he will. Wow! Mega Inferno Bomb will take down wins. Mistake now has to run for it. With the title away, BB will secure the kill. Onto Mistake there. Archie flashes over the wall to get a stun on the God JJ. Got it and just gets popped as well. Looks like God JJ will, should not be able to escape this. Dota 2 begins the new year by finishing off the last with a bang. The WPC Ace Dota 2 League and the HyperX D2L Season 4 had a massive showing in Shanghai and Las Vegas respectively. 
followed up with a couple online tournaments with the Pinnacle Sports Pro-Am and the Dota 2 Champions League, Dota 2 is off to a great start this year. Off the buyback in the hot end. That's a full five-man wipe. And LGD cleaning house. 2,000 gold the advantage, 3,000 experience, but... StarCraft 2 is less dramatic. Aside from the tournaments mentioned before, the Taiwan Esports League finished their two-month-long season. We also saw some national pride in the form of Nation Wars, and MLG had their Game On Invitational, both online tournaments. And it's taking a lot of dam well, I I'd say it's taking a lot of damage, but actually those Broodlords are so badly upgraded that the Colossus are barely taking any damage from them, but they are being driven back. The third base is now completely exposed, just as it completely mines out, so never mind. And Snoot is now pushing his way towards the fourth. Quake Live is still alive, kinda. The first ever Swedish championship of Quick Live was played, with Tox completely wiping the floor with Sparty in the grand finals with a 4 0 sweep. But he's got to watch out the spawn, the nightmare spawn there for Sparty. ESEA had their global finals for CSGO in Dallas, Texas. CSGO also had a couple online events in the form of Face It Cup and Season 3 of Sevo. You gotta know one's in the dark. There's another one. That's a double. There's one more at the banana. You gotta be careful, Eclipse. Clutch and kill. There you go. There's the clutch and the defuse. It's a necessary round after a very bad spell of losses. Very necessary, like you the said. The first event, and seemingly the only event of the year so far for Call of Duty Ghosts, is UMG Philadelphia. Complexity is just that darn good. Oh, dare me, aches. Oh, oh Ace! And the cabinet Ace, gets it! Please, come on, man. That's just disgusting. Oh. That is just too good. Finally, at the end of January, we saw the end of the Zotac Cups for Warcraft 3 and Starcraft 2 North America. These two cups were replaced with Hearthstone, one for North America and one for Europe. I'd also like to take this opportunity to talk about the tip system. The site has received over 500 tips leading to information on missing tournaments and corrections to the site. The vast majority of these tips were for Counter-Strike and Warcraft 3. Much of the information on these tournaments are hidden away on non-English websites, so it's very difficult to find everything, and I would like to thank everyone who's been helping out. It's because of these contributions that eSports Earnings is becoming a more reliable resource for learning about these games and their communities. Keep in mind, this is more than just eSports history, this is video game history. These records must be preserved so we can share this knowledge with the rest of the world. That's all for the January edition of the eSports Recap. We'll see you next month.